is often associated with qualities like compassion and empathy. This teaching prompts individuals to cultivate a caring attitude towards others and adoptive a sense of community and unity. Striving for purity of heart involves resistance to temptations of sin. It encourages believers to pursue a life of righteousness and moral uprightness. The verse emphasizes inner transformation, highlights the idea that a change in the heart leads to a change in behavior. It, it underscores the importance of character development and personal growth. The promise of seeing God can be understood in an eternal perspective, offering hope and assurance of a future in life in the presence of God for those who strive for purity of heart. Matthew chapter 5 verse 8 can serve as a moral compass in decision making, promoting individuals to consider the purity of their intentions and the impacts of their actions on their relationship with God and others. Matthew chapter 5 verse 8 is an important in guiding believers towards a life characterized by moral and spiritual purity, genuine faith, and a deep connection with God, contributing to a sense of purpose, happiness, and fulfillment. And my theme is inner purity and sincerity. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's the Rotuban brother that I mentioned earlier on. Hallelujah, married to a, a cookie princess. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. As you can tell, he goes, he attends uh, USP, not classes uh, 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 during the week. And at the same time, he rushed to not miss his home, his uh, home group. Can we say amen? Thank you, Jesus. Now our last uh, sermon and preacher, put our hands together and welcome our own, hallelujah, newly uh, installed uh, minister. Thank you, Jesus. John Tubutor, God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. My text is taken from Genesis 22.2. This is when God tested Abraham to say his son Isaac and put him onto the, the altar as a burnt offering. My theme is stay obedient, our blessing is coming. We all know, we all know the story of Abraham, the son of Terah, husband of Sarah. Abraham was a righteous and obedient man of God. When Abraham was called to leave his father's land and house, not knowing where he is going, he followed. God promised Abraham a child. Lo and behold, Sarah, who was barren, gave birth to Isaac in her old age. God tempted Abraham by commanding him and said, Take now thy son, thine only son, whom thou lovest, and get into the land of Moriah, and offer him therefore a burnt offering upon one of the mountains I will tell you. Abraham prepared the altar and bounded Isaac for sacrifice to God. He was just about to slay Isaac when the anger of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham, lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God seeing thou hast not without thy son, thine only son, from me. Because Abraham obeyed God, and God said that in my blessings I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seeds as the stars of the heaven and as the sand which is upon the seashore. And thy seeds shall possess the, the gate of his enemies, and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou had, has obeyed my voice. Saints, my message today is based on the obedience of Abraham in Genesis 22, when called to sacrifice his son as an offering unto God. Again, 
Abraham obeyed and didn't question God. In return, God prom promised Abraham that Abraham will be the father of many nations. Kings will come out of Abraham. God will give all the land of Canaan for an everlasting possession. God said to Abraham, Thou shalt keep my covenant and thy seed after thee. Job's another example of obedience, just like Abraham. Job lost everything but stayed faithful and obedience to God. In return, God blessed him tenfold, more than before. Saints, my question to you is, are you willing to remain faithful and obedient to God like Abraham? Are you willing to sacrifice your son as offering to God? Or like Job, are you willing to lose everything, your job, your land, your house, to keep the favor of God? As for me, I don't think I could go through what Abraham did to slay my only son. But we are blessed today. Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. And his only commit command to us today is to follow him. Amen. Obey his commandments. Be faithful to him. Amen. And like Abraham and Job, we too will be blessed. God promised us everlasting life. Stay the course. Be obedient. Amen. Our blessing is coming. Amen. Like the lyrics, lyrics goes, Father Abraham has many sons. John is one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord. Left foot, right foot, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Feel, feel uh, relaxed. You can go back to your seats. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. So we have uh, two man preachers. We have uh, two Waluan, uh, Almarita. I did uh, compliment your part in the Sunday school presentation this morning. Hallelujah. Reciting your own uh, language, uh, two Waluan language with the word of God. Thank you, Jesus. I wonder how many two Waluans out in the world. Uh, marveling and uh, touched uh, by the deliverance of the word. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, we have learned uh, as we uh, started in this faith, hallelujah, and encourage that the word of God may reach the othermost part of the earth. So what's along to the uttermost parts of the earth, diversities of languages, diversities of cultures, diversities of races and ethnicity, hallelujah, that Hallelujah, you being a witness unto Jesus, hallelujah. Uh, even here in Jerusalem, all over Judea, Samaria, to the uttermost parts of the earth, a lot of our papas and mamas weren't that fluent in English, but they were to testify in English because there's a PNG listening at the other end. There's a Tuvaluan, there's a Kiribati, whoever is Indian and Pakistan, Israeli, all over the world, thank God for live stream. Hallelujah, delivering your message, thank you, Jesus, even in downtown uh, Rarotonga Cook Islands to the uttermost part and touching those people. Hallelujah. Since uh, English is quite an international language, they will appreciate. Thank you. You're blessing somebody. You're blessing somebody, not left in darkness. Thank you, Jesus. Let me uh, ask some uh, hands over here, though we don't have a projector and uh, come quick. Betty has the quick, we, we run right across. Tua Tua here. Thank you. Give me Vicky. Thank you. Our lesson for the night. Thank you, Jesus. I hold the trata with Tai with Vicky. Hallelujah. The proof of Jesus' resurrection. 
e to yesu tu hoa haleluya what proofs do we have that jesus rose again from the dead can we say amen, amen. haleluya we look at john's gospel 20 at verse 29 jesus saith unto him thomas because thou hast seen me seen me and thou hast believed blessed are they that have not seen and yet believe haleluya to to mari yesu no te mete akara mai ni ko ya kurre e toma ya karo ngo iko e e a to te ronga kare i akara ya ko ka karo mai e thank you jesus haleluya and uh, Jesus' appearance is 40 days after his resurrection and ascension. Anga urura. Hallelujah. To Yesu aire anga arave anga. Iburia ki tola tuwa ko anga. So it wasn't a, a, a lost scene. Once he was buried, lost and not to be seen ever. But three days later, he rose again. Hallelujah. He was up and around in the community. Uh, showing himself and seen by people back in those days. Thank you, Jesus. We have scriptures in uh, uh, Mark 69, John 20, 11 to 18. Thank God you have your script with you. But uh, humble apology to those uh, on the live stream. Lord's will will be able to post it out to you too on uh, uh, social media. He was seen by Mary Magdalene, seen by a woman. Hallelujah. Jesus purposed for a woman as the first witness of the resurrection message. Can I hear some amen? amen. So every time I hear any, any teaching, any preaching, uh, belittling women and uh, uh, denying and neglecting the privilege for women, Hallelujah, to be a part of the ministry, the proclamation and deliverance of the word of God. It's an insult to God. It's a disgrace because Mary was the first recipient, the first eyewitness of the resurrected Christ, not a man. Although the apostles were men. Thank you, Jesus. But they weren't there. Number two, seen by women, a group of women, not just Mary Magdalene. Hallelujah. Joanna was there. Hallelujah. And uh, uh, a bunch of women were at the tomb in Luke 24. Hallelujah. From the tomb with an angelic message to deliver and uh, take it to the main folks. And number three, seen by Peter. He was, uh, as uh, Luke 24, uh, verses 10 to 12, also uh, writes, thank you, Jesus, uh, there were the apostles who were afraid to come out, stayed in their closet. And when these women uh, went and met them and told them, they saw the, the Christ. Uh, he uh, uh, delivered the message for them to bring. They did not believe. Hallelujah. They, they said those are just uh, idle fables, cannot be true. Shame on them. Until Peter, in the afternoon ran and uh, found to be true. Luke 24, 34, and 1 Corinthians 15, 5. Number four, he was seen by two disciples. They were just uh, walking, enjoying, like uh, this time of the uh, afternoon or the evening with the sunset, the coolness of the afternoon or evening. They were talking about the... The crucifixion of Jesus and the, and the death of Jesus, the burial of Jesus. Uh, it was a, a, a big thing, but lo and behold, Jesus met them. Hallelujah. And number five, seen by the disciples like Thomas, who was absent at the time. Hallelujah. He came in. I will not, I will not, I will not, I will not believe what I hear you all say uh, in this uh, building. Unless I, I, I touch the nail prints of his hands and, and touch those uh, nail prints uh, down in his feet and uh, uh, the, the hole where they pierced him with the lance, then I will believe. Once a disciple with Jesus all that time, I will not, I will not. He denied it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
But lo and behold, Jesus stood right there and said, Thomas, stretch forth your, your hand, touch where they nail me, and uh, touch my feet where they nail me to the cross, and where they pierced me. Hallelujah. And he fell to his knee and cried, My God, my Lord, and my God, because you see me, you believe. Hallelujah. Blessed are those who do not see yet believe it. So we in this generation at this time probably has the, uh, a stronger faith than Thomas. And even those apostles and disciples who literally saw the face of Jesus. But we're walking by faith. Our faith is probably much stronger than theirs. Because it took the, uh, uh, hallelujah, uh, the, the visible appearance to convince their mind and convert their heart. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But uh, we're not uh, uh, depending on that. Hallelujah. We believe what the word says and what those who witness the risen Christ. Thank you, Jesus. And number six, he was seen the next Sunday night. Hallelujah. From this Sunday to the next Sunday night, appearance to the disciples. Thomas being present at this time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. And number seven, seen by the seven disciples beside the Sea of Galilee. Jesus showed up. Hallelujah. In the manner that they knew him. And they recognize and say, he, he is the Lord. He is our master without the doubt. Hallelujah. Number eight, he was seen by the apostles. And uh, the apostle Paul records about 500 brethren, 500 brethren. Hallelujah. Believers, how many people were at the airport celebration? Probably more than 500. Hallelujah. But 500 is a large uh, number on Mount Olives. Hallelujah. Who appeared. And uh, he was seen by James, the Lord's half-brother, uh, in his own time. Hallelujah. Number 10, his last recorded appearance and his ascension from Mount Olivet. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, ten, ten times, ten incidents. Thank you, Jesus. Forty days from the resurrection to the ascension. Uh, those are the scriptures uh, recording of uh, events and incidents and uh, of people who witnessed the risen Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now we come to... Uh, Jesus' appearance to three men after his ascension. Now, uh, he ascended into heaven, and everyone were looking, even the 500 on the Mount of Olives were looking into the, the sky, into the cloud, as he disappeared and gone. Hallelujah. And then appeared uh, an angel uh, saying, Ye men of Galilee, why are you looking up into the clouds? Hallelujah. Do you not know this same Jesus going through and disappearing will come back the same way? Hallelujah. Go. Go to Jerusalem and, uh, and tarry your Holy Ghost and be prepared for the great outpouring and fulfillment of Joel 2.28 when uh, the Holy Ghost will be poured upon in the last days upon all flesh where your sons and daughters will proclaim, will prophesy. Hallelujah. Your maid servants and your men servants will prophesy. All men will dream dreams and young people will see visions. Hallelujah. And that happened. Number one, seen by Stephen. Hallelujah. He was the first martyr at his stoning and just before he died, as the very first martyr of our Christian faith. He was just a deacon. Hallelujah. Saw and confessed saying at chapter 7 of the book of Acts and at verse 56. Behold. Hallelujah. While, the, while they were stoning and is uh, falling. He knew this was the, going to be the end of his life. He, hallelujah. He, he, I see the heavens open. And the son of man standing. I see the son of man standing. Just like, uh, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Even uh, Nebuchadnezzar, hallelujah, saw a, a, a fourth like unto the Son of Man in the fiery furnace. And he cried unto him 
at verse 59, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. He looked into Jesus. Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Hallelujah. And he bowed his head and gave up the spirit. And uh, he confronted. He, he was heard. He was seen in several visions by Paul at his conversion on the road to Damascus. Hallelujah. How to uh, arrest the Christians and throw them in prison or even harass them and uh, kill them if they uh, refuse to. There you have the scriptures, Acts 9, 3 to 8, 17 and so forth. Hallelujah. And uh, lo and behold, uh, Paul, as he uh, fell to the ground and uh, opened his eyes, he couldn't see nothing. Hallelujah. But heard the voice of the Lord, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Then Saul cried out, uh, Lord, who art thou? Hallelujah. He, he knew uh, not anybody else but God himself uh, is uh, speaking to him. But uh, who art thou, Lord? And the reply was, I am Jesus. Hallelujah. He didn't say, I'm Jehovah, Samar, I'm Jehovah Jireh, I'm Jehovah Nas Nisi, I'm Jehovah this and Jehovah Jehovah. The, all the titles that they knew of him, he said, I'm Jesus. Hallelujah. The real thing has come. The saving name. Hallelujah. That the angel Gabriel gave to Joseph. And the, his name shall be called Jesus. For he will save his people from their sins. It's this Jesus that is after to arrest those who are following after uh, that, that nonsense, uh, so called. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. At Corinth in Acts 18, 9 to 10, there's also testimony there. And in the temple at Jerusalem, and the later at Jerusalem, in another vision in 2 Corinthians 12, verses 1 to 4. And uh, thirdly, he was seen by John, the very last of the apostles. Hallelujah. Exiled and died on the Isle of Patmos, where he wrote and finished the very last book of the Bible, containing uh, revealed divine visions of what the world is coming to. Hallelujah. We're at that time. Hallelujah. Revelation chapter 1, verses 9 to 19. Is this John? He was already uh, uh, thrown uh, into a. Uh, uh, a drum of boiling oil. They couldn't kill him. He was still alive. And they threw him out and waited for him to, uh, to die. He didn't. As we have learned uh, from our lessons, he was the only, the only, the only, hallelujah, one of the apostles of Jesus that died the natural. Hallelujah. On the Isle of Patmos, as he concluded his book, of revelation so why is the resurrection of jesus christ paramount over all other teachings of the church the apostle paul in first corinthians 15 14 declares and if christ be not risen then is our preaching in vain it's all in vain. Hallelujah. Come one more time. And our faith is also in vain. Like many are doing it. Hallelujah. It's already out of their windows. And some in the last days, the very elect will also throw Jesus out. When you go through that fiery furnace of tests and trials and tribulations of time. Hallelujah. And uh, then is our prison in vain and our faith is also uh, vain. Uh, verse 17. And we are still in our sins. And 18. All still asleep. In Christ I perish. We, we believe the, the dead. Hallelujah of the, the saints. Memetatu precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. We don't die. Hallelujah. Just the body disintegrate, decompose, gone. Hallelujah. But the soul goes to Jesus. Hallelujah. When the rapture comes, when he calls, arise, my people. Hallelujah. When the Lord shall descend and the dead in Christ shall rise up. Hallelujah. And the voice of the archangel and the, the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise up. Hallelujah. To meet the Lord in the air. 
That's you and I. Hallelujah. That's why we are uh, carrying this faith, uh, convinced and convicted in our hearts. This is the truth. Hallelujah. Uh, verse 19, it says there, uh, we are all men miserable. There's no lively hope. What's a lively hope? Hallelujah. None. Because there's no resurrection. You're going to die. You're no different than a dog. You're not, no different than a, a cat and a, uh, and a pig. You die. You're rot. Finish. That's the conviction of so many people in the world. So you deny Jesus, you want to become like a cow. Hallelujah. And the animals and insects and what have they? You're going to die the same way. But we're not. Hallelujah. We're people of hope. Thank you, Jesus. As Ephesians chapter 4. Thank you, Jesus. 4 to 6 says, we believe there is only one spirit. There is only one body, one church, hallelujah. One hope of our calling, lively hope in Jesus, the resurrection of Jesus, hallelujah. And one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What you going to see here, what you going to do with that scripture? When it says there's only one God, not three, not two, but one, and one Father. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, Jesus. So, in conclusion, get up. And uh, get saved. Obey Acts 2, 38 and 39. Like the apostles at the early church did. And live in a lively hope unto the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. amen. Let's give Jesus a hand. Praise. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, Jesus. Last night, I, did, I just uh, connect this. Uh, to take us to our closing for the night. Hallelujah. I, I, I spent late night after 12 o'clock just to be with uh, my missionary son and daughter. Thank you, Jesus. Just, uh, hallelujah. Fatherly talk, uh, final, hallelujah, talk before they, they fly. Like Katie, uh, uh, not many of us uh, knew that uh, she was going to fly. Hallelujah, it was just uh, sudden and uh, quick. Hallelujah, Nga is already uh, getting their, uh, their booking ready for our missionaries. If it's ready this week, they're gone. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. So we had a good, good uh, talk, the ups and downs, the crises and crosses, the twists and turns, ugly, the, the good, the bad, the ugly, whatever on both sides. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God chose you from your country. Hallelujah. Like Abraham, you came out. You never looked back. It never went back. Hallelujah. Five years and six years. But time has now come. Time to go back to your people. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We have a church registered in Samoa. Samoa for Jesus. Apostolic Oneness Church of Samoa. That's the name of the church. Some of Jesus. Apostolic Wonders Church. Hallelujah. Of Samoa. You're not going back as Samoans. You're going back as Apostolics. You're going back as Jesus' children. The same with us all cookies. We're not cookies. Hallelujah. We're Apostolics. Thank you, Jesus. The faith, the faith of the apostles believed in the resurrection power of Jesus. Amen. Jesus is the, the fullness of the Godhead. Hallelujah. Revealed to the world. And we are complete in Him. Thank you, Jesus. In Him, we are complete. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. And you come to a time when you get home, uh, you'll be saying, yeah, Papa was right. 
if I had saved my money, uh, not wasteful, not uh, this and that, I would have had much more. Thank you, Jesus. But things are winding, the, the curtain is now falling. Uh, there's no more crying on spilled milks or the water that's gone down the, the drain. It's facing reality. Thank you, Jesus. I rang the pastor. I thought he was in Aitutaki. Our missionary pastor, Norma Thaiti. I thought they were in Aitutaki, but they had already come back last Tuesday and uh, straight to New Zealand. He's still under medical care. Hallelujah. Appointments in New Zealand. I rang. I spoke to him last night. Our sons and our daughter is coming back. Hallelujah. If at all possible for you, fly to Samoa and let the church there and the brethren that are still in the faith uh, inform, notify them. Our missionaries are coming home. Let's welcome them back home. Hallelujah. Because they were already concerned who's going to meet them, who's going to welcome them. Shall they call and arrange with their families? I say, it's none of your business. Hallelujah. It's the church's business and the pastor's. You go there. Hallelujah. I'll be with you. Thank you, Jesus. Most importantly, Jesus will be with you. Amen. Hallelujah. So that's where they are right now. Glory, Jesus. It's uh, pack up time. But uh, one home group uh, beat, beat, hallelujah, beat. Uh, after church today, came up and, and said, uh, uh, we'd like our home group would like to do something and, and, and prepare. Uh, should the announcement uh, come that our missionaries are leaving, at least we, we, we do something. Hallelujah. Uh, but uh, he wants to see the pastor first. So I said, I'll see you tonight. I'll give you my answer. My answer is, uh, God bless you. Go for it. Hallelujah. Whatever you do. Hallelujah. Go dig some gold in the mountains. and Hallelujah. Whatever mines there is to be mined. Hallelujah. Uh, to bless them however thank you Jesus glory to God so uh, my 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 word to my dear elder Adiru yes yeah, your request has been granted and uh, you'll be the first hallelujah this Thursday he, he was thinking of the Thursday for the whole of Tebuli uh, Motia and Takitubu uh, come together for a time with our missionaries. So they're in your hands, Brother Elder. Hallelujah. And uh, if they're going to fly on Saturday, that's it. So the rest, hallelujah. Thank the Lord last Sunday, we had a kai kai for the whole church. That's including them all also. Hallelujah. Can you panic? Thank you, Jesus. So starting this week, starting this week, they are free. They have no more church responsibilities. Uh, a new group appointed will come in uh, to take care of the week until Sunday. Hallelujah. But we're going to go as a group. Hallelujah. In other words, the... Petero, Tebulu Bochi, Katoto, Nara to Tia Wikini. Hallelujah. At the next week, Hallelujah, Katapatukia, Hallelujah, Puekura, eh, Nika Oma, Hallelujah, the group, ah, Teratu Wikin over here, Mateo Marico. Hallelujah. Can I hear some amen? amen? Yeah, we're stepping, stepping in. Hallelujah. So they'll be free to pack up the Tebabo. Hallelujah. Go to the bank, withdraw, transfer, whatever. Hallelujah. That's it. I want to release them. Free. Hallelujah. Back it to back up. To back up. I got to a little bit of 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 a little discuss and plan for the future without them. Can we say amen? amen? Hallelujah. Time has come. Glory to Jesus. And uh, I told uh, 
You bury your differences, you bury your whatever they are, you bury your disunity, you bury whatever animosity, contrary uh, spirits that's amongst you. Hallelujah, bury it here. You're not going to take it to Samoa. They'll be watching you, watch every step. Hallelujah. Uh, how you been? Was it worth the five years, worth the six years? Hallelujah. You're going through the fiery furnace of uh, proof of the resurrection power of Jesus. And you're all going to be one team. Hallelujah. No one's uh, uh, separating, go anywhere. You're all going to, uh, you got your talents, your skill, your knowledge, all the trainings. You're going to work together as a team like one. Can I hear some amen? amen. Hallelujah. You got your music, you got your preaching, your teaching, your home group. Hallelujah. Your catering, your hospitality. Hallelujah. And fundraiser, whatever. You got it all. Hallelujah. Action it. Thank you, Jesus. Showcase Jesus with your people. Hallelujah. Whoever is the core group that's remained there, you work with them first. Hallelujah. Don't uh, lean on your family because they, they, they're not baptized yet. They don't have the Holy Ghost. They have their own agendas. They have their own influences. It's going to take you down. Hallelujah. You've got to be bold and forthright. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. So once God gets a confirmation, uh, it's a transit trip. And what transit? Because they don't have a New Zealand passport. Got to be a transit. When uh, Fayou came over, Hallelujah. He probably arrived in New Zealand uh, in the evening. Hallelujah. He had to wait until the next day, the morning, before he fly to uh, Rotonga. Hallelujah. That was his first time on the plane, first time in a strange land. Thank God someone was there to help him, guide him. But for Fafoy, fortunate, I was with him. Hallelujah. He was the baby. Hallelujah. But now he's grown up. He's mature. He's an adult. Hallelujah. He don't need no one to hold his hand, hold my hands. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Can we say amen? Glory. They're still uh, here on a Sunday, will be their last Sunday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Our closing prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Father God. Lord, we just praise you, glorify, and thank you, Lord Jesus, for our wonderful service that you have blessed us with tonight. We thank you, Lord, for reminding, encouraging us that you are in control, Father God, and that our walk in you is not in vain. Thank you for giving us a warrior's heart that if we continue to persist, Lord Jesus, with purity and sincerity, Lord, you will be there with us and our blessing is coming. Father God, we just want to commit into your hands each and every one of us as we depart from this place, but not from your presence, Lord, that you will Will travel with each and every one of us. Father God, I'd like to also commit the program for our, our beloved brethren, Lord, who will be returning to, the, uh, to their homeland, Lord, the, this week for our church, Lord, to prepare for their departure. Father God, we commit the program into your hands. Father, we love you, we praise you, we glorify you, and all God's people say, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ abide in us, rest upon us, lead and guide us ever always in His presence. Jesus, our Savior, we pray. And all of God's people continue to sing. Yes, and amen. Yes. Thank you.
Thank you. I'm going to do it. I want to do They continue with their session with the bishop in the office. Hallelujah. You only have meetings with yourself. Make up your mind to go to leaders. Thank you. Uh, Billy.